My name is Angela and I am the Marketing and Partnership Manager for C-Jump. I'm here to teach you some basic knots today. Let's start with the basics. So the gear that you want to have with you or available next to you when you're learning or teaching knots is to start with some carabiners because some knots require them. Also, I like to go to my local climbing gym and pick up a retired rope that I can cut apart. Obviously, you're not going to climb with it on it anymore, um, but it's a great way to set up some shorter pieces so you can practice tying knots when you're sitting on the couch so you're not lugging all this weight around. And also just some shortcut webbing to practice some water knots, which we'll go over in a minute. The first knot we're going to go over is probably one of the simpler ones. We are going to tie an overhand knot. So if you know how to tie your shoes, most likely this knot will come pretty easily for you. So you're going to take one end of your practice rope, you're going to cross the end over top of it there, and then you are going to bring the end underneath and pull through. The next knot we're going to cover is a figure eight. Figure eight is used in many climbing scenarios, including a rewoven figure eight to tie into your climbing harness or to tie into a mountaineering rope. Let's get started. So you're going to want to take your rope and have the end here. And I like to put the rope in front, pull it behind. So you have an eight here and then you pass the end back through to make your figure eight. Square knot. A square knot. You take the ends and you basically want to tie up and over, pull it, and then you're going to do the opposite. Sometimes you don't get it right the first time, but when you know what to look for, you can get it right. The next knot I'm going to go over is a double fisherman's knot. Double fisherman's can be used to uh, tie two ends of a rope together. It's pretty strong and can be used when you're creating prussics for a glacier travel rope or if you need to ascend a rope. Uh, it's just really good to have this skill. So let's get started. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to tie one stopper knot. So how to do that is I basically do an X on my palm go around again and make sure I go behind both sides and pull it through. And this is a stopper knot. So you can see an X here. Um, next, I'm just going to loosen the knot a little bit. And I'm going to take the other end of the rope. I'm going to pull it through the other way of the knot. And then I'm just going to tie it the same way I did before, but around this rope. So I'm going to make an X here, tie it up and around and behind the X, and through. So you have another X here, and then you pull the two ends tight. And a good way to know if you tied this right is if you have two X's that are in the same direction and then all four parallel are on the back and you're going to want some strands on the end because um, until it's really tight and cinched in there, uh, the rope will wiggle a little bit. So, and that's your double fisherman's. The last knot we're going to go over today, you're going to actually need some webbing. So this knot is called the water knot. The water knot it can be used to make anchors around trees and it ties two ends of webbing together and is a flat knot. So it's kind of similar to double fisherman's but um, this is just the webbing is just a different material so we're going to go over that. So when you the first knot we learned was an overhand knot so we're going to tie an overhand knot with plenty of slack on the end. So there's your overhand knot. So now you're going to, depending on when you're using this for, I'm gonna make it flat, so all the way around the loop. And then you basically follow your tail back through the overhand knot. So I'm gonna follow the tail underneath here. I'm gonna pull it through, make sure I have enough slack there. 
and then I'm just going to follow the knot around evenly like so make sure it's nice and neat and then you have a nice pulled tight clean water knot 